Global X interviews social entrepreneurs who tackle some of the world's biggest problems. They are pioneers of innovation that benefit humanity. My name is Laila Iskander. I'm the chairperson of CID Consulting. It's a private sector firm based in Cairo. We've been working with NGOs that have been working with garbage collectors for over 15 years. We do a lot of uh, institution building, of studies on community-based waste management, and we work with the private sector as well. We are very, very eager to link the for-profit with the non-profit sectors to design business models that are different from what we see in the world today. My work with uh, garbage collectors came about as a result of me coming from a well-to-do family, an educated person, an average person, going to the neighborhood where people brought the trash of Cairo every day back to their homes to sort and recycle and make a living. And to encounter the joy of people living in utter deprivation and in horror. There had to be a reason behind the joy and there had to be something to be done to improve the way they were living. Over the years, that joy turned into a clever way of recycling, small and medium enterprises growing, better housing, a little more education. But still, what strikes me about the recyclers of the world, the garbage collectors, the scavengers, is that they delight in recovering what we, with such great disrespect, throw away. In the late 80s, UNESCO invited me to go speak at a conference on education because we had established a non-former recycling school for girls and women around clean rags and paper. And they asked me to bring one of the recycling girls with me. We went to the French consulate for a visa we had to wait a few hours after we applied and uh, we went to a restaurant for breakfast. The girl who was going with me said, you know, this restaurant is very special to me. I said, why? She was about 21 then. She said, when I was a little girl, when I was four, I used to collect garbage from this restaurant with my dad. I never dreamed the day would come when I would sit here as a client and order breakfast. I almost cried, you know. The term social entrepreneur, uh, I think, requires revisiting. I would like to advise anyone uh, embarking on a career or a changing path to look at business as an enterprise that must include people's well-being all around, not just me and my company or my NGO and the money we're going to make. So enterprises must be fair, equitable, just. Uh, the fact that we're now calling it social entrepreneur is, I think, because we are in a transition period. But my advice is that for us to, to challenge the definitions of what entrepreneurship is, what profit is, I must not just look at the money at the end of my annual statement, I must look at the well-being of everybody around me, because we live in one planet. There is just one Earth. And uh, if we continue to look at grabbing things and doing well by ourselves, it's not going to be sustainable. So social entrepreneurship is a transitional phase. Okay, if you want to get into it now, go ahead, but you must examine the whole concept of business and profit from an angle that says, if it's not social, then it's bad business. GlobalX is also on Social Edge at socialedge.org.